And just like that, the semifinals are complete here at the Women's Rodeo World Championship Finals. I'm Haley Novak bringing you all of the action behind the scenes. We kick the day off in the Challenger Barrel Racing where Mackenzie Mays, we saw have so much success before, came in first out on the ground, first out for everybody, and broke the arena record, 12.93 on her little mare, Rousey. They definitely took the stage and they handled it well. Tippa Smith followed up and Hasley McKinsley, Brandy Inman, Mary Brooks, and Fallon Forbes are all into AT&T Stadium. And the professional barrels, it was Madison McCafferty. She won the semifinals. She was a 13-2 flat. And Madison, we've seen her come up through the ranks as a challenger, now as a pro. I had the chance to talk with her after her winning run. You went in first, you left first. Truly an amazing performance on Junior Horses Card here. But Madison, you're now seated into AT&T Stadium. You're going to be running for $60,000 in just a few days. What is running through your head? Um, I can't think about it too much. Because I just got to think about making a good run every time. You know, I try to be fast, that's what I, I try and I like best things up. So I, I try not, I'm going to not think about it too much. Just go there and go there. From the professional barrel racing, we'll go straight into the challenger breakaway roping where we see a lot of young guns come up and start their careers. And for today, it was Kylie Waltz who took the aggregate win and she had a lot to say after her fast run. About a year ago, I'd probably tell you how nervous I was and how frustrated I was if I did bad. But now I just kind of look at like a different perspective of I'm here for fun. Like there's so many other events I can go to. So just do your best. You can't really worry about it anymore. And we can tell that you're having so much fun. You can see it through your rope, and you are so confident out there. But tomorrow, you get mixed in with the big dogs. It's going to be you guys as well as the pro girls. Is that any? Do you have any anticipation regarding that? I'm a little nervous, a little bit, but it's going to be fun because I, I I just love roping against like other big competitors. It, it makes it more fun. We saw some fast times in the professional breakaway roping, but not faster than the challenger. The aggregate, it stayed very tight. Taylor Munsell was at the top of that, followed by Sarah Angeloni, Amy Ort, Jordan Joe Hollenbach, Larry D. Guy, and Kaylee Billingsley wrapping it up from there. But those gals, they bring the heat every time. We've seen time and time again the veteran mentality come into play. Now, when we go into the showdown round, the challengers and the professionals are all going to duke it out to see who will make it into AT&T Stadium. I look forward to bringing you guys that action, but we'll see you back again.